check out this cute little guy. It's the Manol Daily Carry Bag, and he's just a little guy, but I got a pretty big crush. Okay, so this guy is designed to be your daily carry bag, all right? It's small, it's light, it's minimal, and it's designed to play well with their larger bag, the Manol, uh, whatever, uh, larger bag. <laughs> Carry-on bag, what do you wanna call it? Now, I've done a huge review of that original Manol bag, and coming up, I have a review of their 2.0, which is even a better improvement on the thing. And this is their brand new bag for the daily carry and I wanna get into it. Now, like I said, it's a daily carry bag. It's a thing that you're meant to bring everywhere you go, whenever you need to on a daily basis. So as such, I think we judge it by at least three criteria. Number one, can it fit enough stuff? All right, number two, does it look right? All right, is it the right look for you? Is this the aesthetic that you're trying to hit? And then number three, what's it like to use? Like in daily use, what's it like? So those are the three sections of this video. Let's get into it. Okay, so can it fit your stuff? I call this thing a punchy little guy because it uses what I term as the big bucket pocket <laughs> strategy for getting all your shit, okay? Which is to say it has one large pocket that is like your catch-all for like everything. Don't peek. I'll get into that in a second. We're gonna walk through every pocket on this bag. I just mentioned that here in that there's a bigger sort of bucket, this this thing, to fit all of the things that you might need, like your sweater, your your rain jacket, your books, your whatever it is that you that you need, as well as the more designed pocket, the organized pocket around your computer, around your little stuff. In fact, let's get into the pockets now. So here's the sort of sections of the bag, all right? You have a small pocket up here that just is like this thing right here. I'll open it in a second. You have the larger pocket, the gaping maw that you can fit all of your things in, including large wool sweaters. And then up against your back, you have the laptop panel where there's space for a laptop, iPad, and some like document spacer. You'll, I'll show you in a second. Now, this little pocket up front is is small, right? It's just for like putting your knick-knacky stuff. What do I have in here. Glasses, power charger, uh, bars, uh, pens, okay? It's just enough for you to sort of get in there like so. There's also a mesh pocket on the inside. I don't know if you can tell there where it's zippered and you have a little bit of a mesh pocket to get on the inside. That would be the mesh pocket on the inside. So that's your little pocket up front for your like uh, mix and match accessories as well as a mesh pocket for like a, hey, I might need this, but I don't really need to get into it all the time. Then let's get into the big pocket. Now, as you can see, it does this full big old clamshell sucker so you can fit the whole nine yards in there. This is one of their Manal packing cubes. I'll get into that in the Manal daily or carry on one 2.0. I'll show some of the accessories in there. I just put it in here to pump up the bag a little bit. And you can see on this back panel here, there are two zippered compartments. One of them is mesh, uh, large enough for a notebook or something like that that you can fit in there. One of them is not see-through where you can put your, you know, I put my, my cords and power accessories, my dongle bag and my chapstick and like sleeping pills and things like that. You know, you never know. You never know when you want that kind of stuff. Now inside they also have this sort of elastic mesh water bottle holder, which is which is uh, on the inside. That's fine, that's fine. Now at the bottom here, you might notice this big bulgy thing. The bottom zipper here, you've got a completely waterproof uh, rain pouchy thing. Oh, what? <laughs> it's a the marsupial from, these guys are from New Zealand, so you gotta give them credit for bringing the whole. Bringing the whole, I don't know, bringing the whole like those like weird animals that they have down there thing. I have never needed to use the rain sort of slick thing and uh, oftentimes on bags like this, I would just take it out. But this is such a small, minimal little pocket, doesn't take up any space at all. If I need to shove stuff in here, that that rain cover just compresses to nothing. So I don't mind leaving it in there because you never know when you're traipsing through South Vietnam and you're just kind of like, oh man, is it ever raining? So that is the big 
pocket there. Now let's get in on me potatoes. I'm gonna show you a little bit about what happens on the inside when we get all our work done. I know a lot of you are excited <laughs> to see what it's like when the laptop bag happens. What? Okay, so this is where your laptop stuff happens. I, I carry one of these big fool's cap things around. I've, I love these things. This is like my notebook right now. We'll see how that works out. I just throw that in there. Then you've got the laptop cover thing here, all right? Now, they're using a very interesting thing. You can get your laptop in either from the top or from the side. So maybe you just wanna zip. You've got two zippers here, so maybe as you put your bag down, you grab it by this handle, you put it down on the ground, and then you're like, oh, I can just get right into it. It's perfect, I love it, thank you. And then you can pull it out sideways. Now I'm using my like old, 15 inch MacBook Pro and it's quite tight. My new MacBook Pro, new in the last seven years I guess, fits perfectly in there without any, uh, nice and tight, but uh, you wouldn't be able to get a bigger laptop than that in there. Or this thing allows you to come from the top, okay, which is a little more forgiving. Now they also have your an iPad sort of sleeve right here, which you could probably fit an iPad, you could easily fit an iPad Pro in there uh, if you needed to. Got a nice little neoprene sleeve for all your gears. Everything's padded. Uh, the bag is suspended on all sides away from the edges. And there's some padding on, on the back and on the sides all around. Your laptop's never going to hit the ground before the bag does. So that's over on the laptop side. Moving over to this side, you've got some, I don't know, some weird stuff. There's a nice document holder right here, okay, with a little clippy clip. Nice little clippy clip. And you can fit your papers, your papers, your business papers, man. Then you have a handful of little organizer pouches in here. This is, I do not know what I'm supposed to do with these. You've got a zippered doojobby right here. All right, it's a zippered, which is nice. You can fit your field notes in there, get it covered up. You gotta have a field notes spot. Then you've got another one, same size, but not zippered. Okay, so you can put your index cards or something like that, that might not fall out. And of course, all bags have to have a business card holder. You can see those uh, there, these business card holders or something like that. Maybe you could put pens uh, or something like that. By the way, that's one sort of bummer for me on this bag. There's no clear place to put my pens. I just end up putting them in the sort of pocket thing up front. I am a pen guy and it would be nice to have some little like, uh, like a spot for like a few pens um, somewhere. I could easily put them onto this, but it's so thin and sheer that it would, uh, th I think they would, I think they would fall right out. Okay, so that is the three main compartments of this bag. So can it fit your stuff? Listen, this is a daily carry bag, meant to be small, sleek, I call it industrial slick or sleek. It's not quite Kenneth Cole, like it looks like it could be in a turtleneck, you know what I mean? But it's a little grittier than that. It's a little more industrial than that. And I really like that angle. So uh, I love that it's streamlined for my daily carry. It is plenty. This isn't your like Oakley bag with chains and whistles and fucking, you know, ropes and shit. This thing is, is this thing is really sleek, lean and mean. And I, and I like, I just think it has a cute look. So can it fit your shit? Yes, it can. Unless you wear cargo shorts. Number two, how does it look? Does it look right? I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> hey, hey, looking good, buddy! Whoa! Like I was just saying, I like this industrial chic or slick look to this thing, all right? It's not all black, it's not like a, yeah, well I was going to an art gallery and I wanted to see if there's anything that really, you know, got me thinking. It's not all the way to there. It's also not all the way in like the crunchy side or super hippie side where you're just kind of like, dude, let's just put on some fish. We can all crash in this room somewhere. See what happens. What, we have crabs now? Like I said, there's just this like adorable little like look to it. It's not, it's it's like wider than, it, it's like shorter, squatter than it like kind of should be than another bag company would make it. And it just makes it kind of cute. It like, I feel like I like the look on it. I like where it fits, where it lands on my back. Uh, I like the feel of it. So look wise, I think that's one of the most compelling things about this bag because there's nothing for your hand. <laughs> if you remember the other bag review on the old Manal, there's nothing for your, for your hand to get stuck on on this thing. Everything's really streamlined without being turtlenecked up. Now, obviously aesthetics, look is gonna be a very personal thing for you. This is like right aligned with my aesthetic where I'm like, I want something that's made sustainably. I want something that's designed well. I want something that says something about me, but I'm very particular about what the hell it says about me. And for some reason, this doesn't feel pin downable. It doesn't feel like it's, oh, it's that look. Oh, it's that look. 
And there's something about that, man, that I really dig. There's no big, huge uh, logos on the thing. There's just very tasteful little uh, little foxy guys in Manal on the on the back. So all in all, I'd say, how's it look, man? You tell me. I think it's fucking hot. <laughs> now, what is it like? to use. I think this thing is thoughtfully minimal. It's extremely easy to do a minimal bag. It could just be a sack. It could just be like a hemp rucksack. Like that's the most minimal thing you can do. Or better yet, no bag at all. The harder thing is to do a bag that is both minimal and thoughtful and well designed. Do you understand? Like it's small. It's not going to drag as you pull it around places. And there's enough space. And there's some organization and you get the feeling that they thought of you when they were making it. And man, I gotta be honest, I, I get I get my hands on a lot of bags. I really love bags. I really, really love bags. Probably for this reason. Every once in a while you get a bag where it feels like, wow, they really thought of me. And it's kind of rare that you have that experience. And I think that you'll have this uh, that experience with this bag. I certainly do. Like a great little example is these zipper pulls. They're just delightful. They have a little tiny minimal Manal logo on them. They have the nice contour thing. It's stupid. They didn't need to spend money on that shit. But I'm really glad. I'm glad they did. Because when you use a bag, when you use your bag as your daily carry bag, it's nice to touch something that feels like it was, it has intention behind it. The materials are great to use. I'll speak on this handle. You know, I'm a handle guy. This is a great execution on a handle that is, that is both comfortable without being like this big, huge thing like on the Osprey bags. The feeling of the fabric is nice. It's, 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 robust it's robust without being uh too sleek you know what i mean where it's just like it's almost feels like too ballistic um or or too too bulky but it is a minimal bag it is small you are forced into a handful of pockets it does not like do what the osprey cyber bag or the icon in case bag does where they're like dude we have got you covered how many dongles you got i guarantee you can't fill our dongle holders i used to be a dongle holder guy but now this is so much more aligned with my philosophy of carry uh, i just said that out loud my philosophy of carry fucking people are starving i have a philosophy of carry Ugh. i gross myself out sometimes but this is aligned with the way that I think about how I want to carry things around because to me it matters. It's psychological, the weight that you carry sometimes when you have stuff on your back. And one of the reasons why I love that Manal for their big uh, carry, uh, the thing, the other, the bigger bag, uh, is that they force you to be intentional with what you bring and I think it's a similar experience here. So what is it like to use? I think it's a delight to use because it's well made. I also think it's going to ask of you, do you really need to bring that? Some of us don't want that question at all, right? I totally understand that. You wanna be able to, I just have enough space, I have enough things for whatever needs to happen, man. Love that. But I have been through that world and, and lived like that for a long time and now I'm on a different sort of trip where it's like, I might be better prepared for what I need to be or who I need to be the less stuff I have. Because maybe it's more about who you are than what you've brought. So what's this bag like to use? I think it's a delight to use because the thing is well made, it's thoughtful, it's well thought through, and it also is going to ask you, you sure you need to bring that? So if you're not interested in that question, steer clear from this bag. But if you're open to it, it's a, I think it's an invitation. Now, this is not the cheapest bag on the market. It's also not super expensive. I have very firm feelings about price now that I've played with so many bags. I've seen the difference in quality and feel of a bag where I'm like, like I think I've said before, don't balk at spending $250 on a bag. That is a, like a, uh, that is a, a price that gets manufacturers paid enough to keep doing it. But if, if, if a price like that is too high for you, you might wanna look into the Air, A-E-R, smaller bags. I'll be doing a review on one of those later. Very affordable, but it's not gonna have the same sort of aesthetic feel to this when you're using it. And finally, in closing, this bag is made by small indie producers, a couple guys out of New Zealand who are doing a great job designing these bags and manufacturing them, somehow putting the logistics together. I've seen pictures of these guys. I've heard them speak. They shouldn't be capable 
of these sorts of things, but they're blowing my mind. I love this bag as a support for indie makers everywhere. They did, they kickstart their bags, they listen to customers, they iterate on ideas, and I think that this bag is great because of those things. So the Manal Daily Carry Bag is an excellent, light, minimal, sleek, wonderfully executed bag. The materials and the design decisions are thoughtful. The minimalism is thoughtful. And that to me makes it an absolute joy to use. And I don't know about you, but I got plenty of fucking stress in my life, man. I got kids to raise. I got businesses to be running. I've got someone to figure out who the fuck I am. Like who am I gonna be when I grow up? So it's nice to have a bag that just goes, listen, I got you, bro. I got you. We got this. We got a lot of friends right now going, did you really turn that bag review into more places for you to rant about your existential crisis? You know what, that's exactly what it did. I thought it was quite good at it too. Keep it going, guy. Okay, that's all from me, Chase Reeves, and the Manal Daily Carry. I'll put all the links that you need down below in the description of this video. If you're interested, check out my podcast, The Fizzle Show, and the business that I started with a friend of mine, Fizzle, where we help people earn a living doing something that they actually care about. We live to sort of help people do that. If you're interested, check out at fizzle.co. And last but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching, for being the kind of person who researches decisions before you end up making purchases. I believe strongly that your dollar is your vote, and I hope you use your votes wisely. Cheers.